What's up, guys? Listen, man, we got a doozy coming up today, and this involves the young, talented Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, on and off again boyfriend Darius. Now, you guys know they've been making the headlines the past few months in reference to them getting together, breaking up, and it all started with the whole Usher situation. Usher has a residency out there in Vegas. And all the ladies show up and get serenaded by him. And Kiki was no different. And her boyfriend didn't take too kindly to this. He actually took it to social media and expressed that he was upset. She's a mother. She's showing the buns are on display. And people came, dudes came to his defense. And the ladies came to her defense saying that she doesn't have a ring on her finger and all these things like that. So that created a rift somewhat and she broke up with him I guess what was going on so there were some issues with this being said and of course they have the eight month old baby involved in this situation as well they were seen out and about and got back together but what's coming up now which is something that many women do and they'll hold on to these things and have you looking crazy you think everything's cool and they'll have it like you know I got recordings of you but at the end of the day hey if anything goes down if you do something I don't like Hey, I got you. And in a rage, she'll use it as the silver bullet, as I said in countless other videos, to destroy you, have you where you're losing custody, and have a restraining order against you. Now, in this case, Kiki had some footage of this guy from February 2022. That is almost two years ago. She's been holding on to this footage, and all we see is screenshots. She has these screenshots of her tussling, or what appears that she's tussling with Darius Jackson, and the narrative is that she was showing him some bikini pics this is before she even got pregnant with their son they're in a relationship they're at her place and she's showing him the bikini pics and he gets upset even though she says she only showed them to him he gets upset basically going off on her they end up getting into an argument and he ends up slamming her all over the place on the staircase as you can see on the couch and basically it's not showing anything that she's doing it's just showing the perspective of what he's doing to her whatever the footage is supposedly she's only got certain footage that's the footage that she's presenting as of this past wednesday november the 8th in order to obtain a restraining order and also file for sole custody of their son at this point now whether it be divorce custody women have this silver bullet that their attorneys tell them to use and that's normally under the umbrella of some sort of abuse to basically make you look unfit angry and upset and this footage like i said is over a year old now she's also saying that an event occurred on november 5th this past sunday that he was abusive so this is something that and i don't know if she made a police report or anything prior to that because that's normally what accompanies you having a police report but there's no footage or anything like that being that she's a celebrity and police tend to take a woman's side anyway, who knows how this is going to go. But her mother had some things to say in reference to this. And we're going to go ahead and play the clip. Let's go. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff. But this is, this is, I, I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharonis over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this uh, special guy. I mean, we know he's the biggest fuck boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women, just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like he's this special guy. No, you're a fuck boy and you're a part of the problem. So that was Kiki Palmer's mother, Sharon. And she's talking about Darius's older brother. She said Sharonis. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. It, it's spelled Sarunas or whatever, but he's an actor. And if you guys haven't seen him, if you never watch Issa Rae's Insecure, he's on there, big tall dude. And he made that post, which she was basically quoting, saying that she went to him saying that there were some issues. And I'm assuming she was attempting to talk to him to talk to his brother to tell him to cool out, even though Kiki is a grown woman but you know how women do you never know you could say all this different stockholm and all these other things that's going on but or what is it battered woman syndrome or whatever is what she could be bringing up in terms of this but it sounded like y'all had a conversation he was probably just like oh i used to be like that i'm gonna read exactly what it was that he posted 
So he said the most disgusting, vile, abusive, manipulative person I have ever encountered in my entire life abuses almost everyone. Y'all will see just send positive energy to the babies. Any child in the middle of something like this does not deserve it all. Wow. So damn sad. Wow. He made that post and I guess that was geared to my knowledge that was geared towards Kiki, even though she's saying this. Now, women, as I said, they tend to take a woman's side, regardless of what this woman is doing. She still stayed in a relationship, regardless of how abusive this guy is. And now she wants to use this footage as leverage to destroy the guy, even though she stayed. You've been with this guy all this time. You probably were coming out the side of your mouth, saying certain things. You probably were putting hands on this dude. That's why you have some, some guilt with this situation. And then when it comes down to the, the point of supposedly from what she's saying on November 5th, he broke into her place because I'm assuming they don't share the same place. He broke into her place and he decided to do these things to her. And I guess for her, that's the final straw. Whatever happened, happened. But one thing about it, this woman has more money than him. The way she embarrassed him in public, the way she emasculated him. And some of you guys say a woman can't emasculate you. But if a woman's making more than you, she's flexing. She's got support from a court of public opinion, if you will, is all on her side. Then she's going to talk to you any kind of way. And knowing that you guys have had this belligerent, volatile, toxic relationship. Now you just as a show of force and action, you're going to say this. Now, people looking at this, judges will probably look at things like this as well. You're presenting footage to me that's almost two years old, but you've been with this guy now that you get upset, you having a lover spat. Now you want to weaponize it and use it to get a restraining order against this guy and have sole custody from the child that you had with him. Just seems a little disingenuous if you ask me. I think that's a little bit too much. I get it that you guys are just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is one of those things. Same thing in divorce. Women will claim this to get you out of the house, get custody, have you pay child support, have you pay whatever else separate maintenance and all this stuff while she's dealing with whatever and this is just a tactic that attorneys advise their clients to do and it is what it is sorry he has to go through this but if you're ever in a situation for you guys listening if you're ever in a situation where you're putting hands on a woman or she's putting hands on you trust me it's going to get to a point where she'll be like and you think everything's cool because okay she touched me i hit her back no no it's not going to end well for you it is definitely not going well for you. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.